Alright, sorry about that. I forgot. Smaller videos for easier download. And I got carried away with the Marvel's designer. So, um, how do we separate our garments? There are multiple ways of doing so. So, the first way is to select the clothes. And then you go into edit mode by pressing the tab button. And then with everything selected, you well, you can press A to deselect everything. And let's say we want to take away the t-shirt, separate the t-shirt from the pants. We just hover our cursor over the t-shirt and we press L and it will select. And then we press P and then we can separate by section. That's one way of doing it. So now you see that it's in two pieces. The pants are here and the shirt is there. So I'm going to join them back real quick so I can show you the other way. Um, another way you can do it is by pressing tab and suppressing so A and selecting the whole garment. Then you press P again and then you do by material. So when we had assigned the clothes their own material color in Blender, we gave them their own material. So that way it's going to separate by color so everything that was white will be separated into one layer and everything that was gray will be separated on its own thing so that's one way another way of doing it the last the next way is kind of a, a last ditch effort just in case something went wrong and this does happen quite a bit when you're working with multiple things um, in order to do this we're going to call this the UV separation in, in order to do the UV separation, we need to open up another uh, window. So take your mouse here, and you're going to go up to the top, and you're going to see your mouse turn from a cursor arrow to a plus, like a cross. And when that happens, you're just going to left click and then drag it over to the left, and you see a whole new window open up. I'm going to move this over to the right because we don't really need it right now. So now that we have two windows, we're going to switch this window from a 3D window to a UV image editor. And um, it's just going to be black for right now, but it's going to change in a second. So when you open up the UV image editor, you're going to click on your garment, and you're going to press tab, and go into edit mode. Then you're going to press this other little button down here at the very bottom uh, right. It says... Uh, keep UV and edit mode mesh section in sync. So it's UV sync mode. And you'll see that the UV layout for your avatar, um, for your garment comes into play. And doesn't it look familiar? It's the same pattern that we made in Marvelous Designer. So the 2D pattern that you made and you set up in Marvelous Designer is the UV layout for your garment overall. That's why I said give them some space and don't overlap them. We want to make it, keep it nice and neat for this very reason. So when you have this selected, your UV map and your garment are in sync. So let's say for some reason, um, this happened to me, let me give you an example with that. I made a dress and I put the skirt of the dress on a, its own material. I made it pink and I made the ruffles uh, red. But because those two were kind of in the same color group, Marvelous Designer decided that they were all going to be latched onto their own material. So the skirt was its whole thing and the ruffles were all fused together on one. So I couldn't separate them uh, manually because Blender was recognizing it as one whole garment and that was terrible. So this is the same thing could happen with this if you were trying to press L to select and um, you were selecting the whole garment. So this way you can separate it uh, this way. <laughs> uh, sorry for talking so much. I'm just trying to describe it properly. So what you're going to do is find out where your mesh is on a UV map. So you grab the vertex box. It's a lot easier. And you just click on a vertex anywhere on the garment that you want separated. And this gets them selecting on the pants. Wherever we click on the pants, you'll see it lights up over here in a corresponding spot on the UV layers. <laughs> so basically, wherever we click on the pants, it'll light up over here on the UV where that is on the 2D map. So we know that this is the pants. We can select the pants by pressing B, 
and selecting it all. You can't use the L island select because it won't let you do so in sync. So you have to use either B to select it or you can use C to circle select and you can select it all. The problem with circle select is it just keeps going until you press the right mouse click to disengage it. So you're going to need to just use B. And because we gave it its own space and everything when we were sorting out, you'll see it's a lot easier to select it if better than than if we had moved them uh, really close together. So that's why I always like to say give your um, UV mesh a nice space uh, just in case they get stuck together. So when they are highlighted over here, you got two options. You can either assign your stuff a new material or while it's highlighted over here in the um, 3D window over here, you can press P and then you can just select by section again. And you'll see that now the t shirt and pants are selected, deselected. Although I wish I would have said that a few moments sooner so that <laughs> you would have got that victory chime in the background. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. So now we have our pants and our shirt selected. We can go into actually properly weight painting them. Um, uh, we can close this or just minimize it over here in the corner because we're still going to be still going to need the uh, UV window for when we go into baking texture. But now that we have it um, all separated, we can go into properly weight painting, which is going to be the next video.